It's a fine day for science. Howdy everyone, this is my It's a Fine Day for Science series video number one. So I'm going to explain a little bit ahead of time as well. You see, I think it would be very, very cool to have a series of videos where I explain or talk about something I find interesting that science has done. Either um, just something I found interesting or a science news article about something new going on in the realm of science and just talk about it. I'm going to go ahead and issue... This isn't going to be like super deep or well-informed or anything like that. It's just going to be pointing out to something cool that I think is interesting and uh, science has helped me understand better. Pretty much it. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and issue a challenge. Everyone watching this video who makes videos, go ahead and I want, I want you to do a video in the same manner about something you found interesting that science has helped you understand. And... Um, and then make it a response video for this. Please? I would love it if, if you did that. That would be wonderful. Um, and so today's, today's science comes a little story. See, the other day, uh, I was getting ready to go to bed. And I'm, you know, browsing the YouTubes and my, my, uh, my email and so on and so forth. And uh, I see this little thing flying about behind my computer on the wall and it was kind of a creepy thing because it looked like a mosquito on steroids and uh, I didn't like that at all mm -mm. not when I'm trying to sleep no I needed to know if this was a danger to me what it was going to do so I pulled up some entomology websites google arised them found them and uh, I started browsing through the insects and it, it gets pretty easy you know you just you know, take a couple features and you work, whittle your way down and eventually you find the family and so on and so forth, What whatever insect, you know, um, that you're, you're looking at. And uh turns out the cat that was in my house was of the family, and I'm going to mispronounce this horribly probably, Ivaniidae. Ivaniidae? Vanadia. I don't know. I'm I'm really horrible at pronouncing things. Uh, but it is totally awesome. They're commonly called ensign wasps or hatchet wasps. And this is from Wikipedia, but they're a fairly small parasitic wasp family with very distinctive appearance. It numbers around 20 extant genera, containing over 400 described species, is found all over the world except the polar regions. And then you get to the interesting bit. You see, remember how I was worried about whether or not that thing was gonna gonna like eat my brains when I was sleeping? Turns out the adults just eat nectar. No big deal. Not scary at all. At that point, you know, I'm pretty much fine, you know. House spiders that aren't really a threat or or um um Things that eat nectar and stuff like that, m moths and whatnot, uh, not really doesn't really bother me very much. They're not going to touch. You're not going to deal with them in any kind of bad way or anything like that. I usually try to put them in a cup and then throw them outside. Um, the stuff that's going to like bite me or ruin my day, um, I do. Well, I guess you know I, I take wasps out to like hardcore sting your face wasps. I try and get those to go outside too, but um, it, it's not always easy to do that, and so I end up killing them a lot more. It's kind of been sad. Oh well. But 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 here's the thing. And when I when I read this part, when I read about this thing, I kind of had to I had to stand up, give it a little salute, say thank you to the ensign wasp, and here's why. The adults eat nectar, right? Fair enough. But the babies, the babies eat roach eggs. This is how it works. The ensign wasp flies on over to a roach egg case, which is called an uithakia. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but if that is the way to pronounce it, man, that is fun to say. Uithakia. Give it a shot. Try it out yourself. I guarantee you, you'll want to say it more than once. Ooh, with the Kia. 
So, Benson Wasp flies over to these little Uthkia. Yay. Uthkia, I think, is the plural. And it, it plops down on it, and it injects its eggs inside, and they hatch and eat the roach eggs. And when I heard that, I was just pleased as punch, sugar. Because anything that is any any natural insect that is in my house, reducing the amount of roaches that are in my house, if there are any, I'm sure there are. I don't I don't really see any, but I'm sure there has to be. Um, is a, a okay with me? You are fine being in my house. I am okay with you. And um, I was reading more about it, and it was kind of interesting reading the uh, the fossil record because. Um, they appear to have, have originated around 150 million years ago. Um, they seem pretty successful. And um, they haven't changed a whole lot. They've been pretty much the same. Um, the fossil record in, 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 um, in fossilized amber uh, is apparently pretty comprehensive with um, about 10 genera and about twice as many species from the late Jurassic right up until a few million years ago. Um, they, uh, they also seem to have evolved alongside roaches, um, with both of these creatures influencing each other all, all along the way. And, um, yeah, I just think that is, is really fascinating. And I never, you know, I know that, that, um, like uh, there, there are some wasps that grab spiders and put them inside their egg cases, but never. I didn't. I haven't heard before of another insect injecting its eggs into another insect's eggs. That was kind of crazy to me. So I'm going to include some links over in the side for you to check out the stuff. The Uthakia I think is also kind of interesting because there's all kinds of different kinds of Uthakia out there, and that's always fun. Um, and. Uh, also, hopefully in the future, as these videos progress and I get better at, at editing and, and uh, get some more software to do some stuff, I'll, I'll be able to include all the pictures and whatnot, um, maybe some short videos and things like that. So hopefully, hopefully, this video series will continue and be interesting, and uh, I hope everyone likes it. Um, and now, get working on your little video about whatever you think is, is awesome-y and science-y. It is a fine day for science.